All right, Joe, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and today I have a pretty exciting video for you guys. Thanks to a user by the name of Imperial. Imperial, I believe? Yeah, uh, Imperial on the Pokemon forums. Uh, thanks to him and some community effort, we now have a compiled list of everything that we have seen so far from the anniversary chests on Pokemon. Now, that's a pretty big deal. It's usually really, really difficult to get this information, so being able to see all the items that are possible to get from Anniversary Chests and Golden Anniversary Chests is really cool information. So, you know what, let's just go ahead and get into it. So first things first, we're going to cover the Riches Charms. Riches Charms are going to increase your Pokeyan gain from trainers for an hour, slightly more than an Amulet Coin, so an Amulet Coin would be, they're both consumed items. Uh, Amulet Coin would last for one hour and do 50, plus 50%. 50 these do plus 75. So honestly, if you're if you're if you do gym runs every day, picking these up now while they're pretty cheap, I've been picking up a couple here and there. I think I have around 16 or so stocked up. Stocking up on Riches Charms during certain events while they're really cheap is really, really smart. So Item Magnet Charm. This is another type of charm that increases the chance of getting an item from a wild Pokemon for one hour. Uh, 50%, not the most useful item, but honestly, when you're payday, since they're so cheap, uh, if you're someone who like paydays at Dragon Spiral Tower, you can make some good extra Poke in from them. Now, XP Charms. XP Charms do obviously what they are. They increase the XP gain from party Pokemon uh, for 50% for one hour, so pretty self-explanatory. X Speed. X Speeds are an item. If you don't know X items, X items are essentially... Um, items that boost a stat for two stages for the duration of a battle, similar to like Swords Dance or Nasty Plot or any sort of um, status raising move, um, but it's only, it's on an item, so it's a little more flexible. You don't need to have like the move slot on a Pokemon. Now, Hurricane. Hurricane is actually a pretty good TM. Uh, Hurricane is a really relevant move for Pokemon like Pelipper. Uh, it can be used on Volcarona in some niche cases, and then it also is good on Charizard, although we don't usually see Charizard in NU competitive play even, but maybe with access to Solar Power, now that it has access to its hidden ability, Hurricane might be a lot more relevant, teaching hur uh, Hurricanes to Charizard. Um, giving him access to a very powerful stab special attack move. Now, the next item is slightly mistyped. So on the forum post, you see it as Bug Catcher's Outfit. Uh, it is actually Bug Enthusiast Outfit, so please do keep that in mind if you're looking for that item. Uh, not a very cool, outstanding vanity, but it does have a matching item, which is very cool in my opinion, in the Bug Catcher's Net. Now, this is an item that I'm super, super excited for. Uh, just a really cool, like, having a cheap back slot item that looks pretty cool. Uh, there's not that many of those in Pokemon. So I'm super, super excited to uh, be picking some of those up. And then Battle Points Charm. Once again, another charm. Pretty similar effect. It's going to increase the amount of Battle Points won in PvE and PvE for one hour at plus 50% ratio. So the next item is the Poke MMO Cap. These are all from, once again, the normal anniversary chests, not the golden ones. Um, the Pokemon is a random color every time you get a random colored Pokemon cap. Pretty simple cap, but I think it's smart to go ahead and pick up multiple. If, you know, these are like more so like a personal pleasure sort of thing. Like if you want to pick these up for your own uh, use, for your own sort of fashion, you know, designs, go for it. I think it's really smart to pick them up now while they're cheap. And then trainer's jacket. So I believe it's, yeah, novice trainer's jacket. Exactly. Uh, these go on to match the, uh, the Pokemon caps. And they're kind of, you know, the default, like, red, default, like, Pokemon trainer sort of outfit. Now, the next one is, now, this is a cool one, pointed yellow tail. So this is obviously just Pikachu tail. And I'm not a huge fan of Pikachu in general. You know, he is the Pokemon's mascot, but it's kind of a boring Pokemon, to be honestly, in my opinion. But I think this looks pretty cool. I think this, like, I think this is, like, really out, stands out. Uh, it has a really stark design. I'm a huge fan of it. I think it looks pretty good. Now, the fox tail. Gotta have it. Foxtail. Pretty cool vanity to pick up. Probably a pretty good investment. Uh, pretty smart investment to make. Uh, just, uh, I guess animal vanities are always cool to see be put in the game. Uh, certain people really, really care about them and really like them. More power to them. Uh, Tamer outfit. I believe this just goes... I don't know if this doesn't really go along with the Foxtail. I think it's just kind of its own standalone thing. I don't really care too much about this one, but honestly, maybe I'm underrating it. Um, but it's, I mean, it's a red and black vanity, so honestly... Can't go too wrong with that. Now, Ice Beam. Dude, look at all these, like, really, really good TMs that are really cheap right now. If you want to make a really um, uncommon investment that I don't think enough people make, invest in things like TMs like this right now. Ice Beams, really good TMs. Not just any TM, but, like, really good TMs. Like, Ice Beams, Flamethrowers, Giga Drains, like you see down here. Um, rare candies are also really good. Investing in certain items that are constantly being bought outside of the event, um, really smart right now. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, the fishing cap. 
and I believe there's also a fishing outfit. Yeah, fishing outfit, as you can see here in the fishing cap. I think this is a super simple but, like, nice vanity set to have. It's only going to cost you 20k. 20k to have a full vanity set? I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, what else? The Koban. I think this is a super underrated. I'm actually going to pick that one up for 15k. Super underrated vanity. I think it just stands out really hard. I think this can be used. Uh, this can be used really well alongside some Pharaoh cosplay and stuff. We already have a lot of like Pharaoh cosplay in the game. Um, but we, with the headpiece for it uh, is very different from the Koban, but I think the, the Koban could be an interesting route, especially with you can like choose your hair design and stuff. I think it's a really cool vanity. Um, who could dislike a big fat coin on the head? Now, the Lollipop. This is one that I haven't picked up enough because I think it's going to drop a lot more, uh, but a really cool vanity. Really happy to see that. I, it's, it's funny how it has a little like wave slash wiggle to it. I feel like it like makes it feel like the stick is flexible on the, on the left-hand animation. It's kind of funny, but you know what? Can't go wrong with Lollipop. Uh, Flamethrower TM, obviously a very powerful move. Very common TM. Uh, Giga Drain. Giga Drain is probably... I'm going to pick some of these up. Giga Drains are fantastic moves. I feel like Giga Drains are often TM'd as well. Um, things like Volcarona need Giga Drain TMs. I don't think they learn it naturally, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Muddy Water. Now, Muddy Water isn't a very common... You'll never see this in competitive play. Um, it could be really good. It could be kind of good, I guess, during a storyline. But usually, you'd just rather have Surf... I, I wouldn't touch Muddy Water TMs. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Now, Fireworks. So we have Red Fireworks, Purple Fireworks, uh, Yellow Fireworks, etc., etc. Uh, fireworks are essentially just items you set off, and Yellow Fireworks. They're just items that you set off. I can actually... Do I have a Firework? I'll probably just show you guys. Uh, fireworks are items that you just set off. Yeah, I have a couple. Let's, let's set off a red one. You guys can see the effect. Oh, I guess I can't do it indoors. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I guess it... Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and... You know what? We're going to take the time. We're going to take the time. We're going to put in the effort. I'll just show you guys. Why not? So we're going to head outside here. I'll show you guys what a fire firework looks like in game. Or not. I don't know why it's telling me. Anyways, okay. We're going to ignore that part. Uh, fireworks are just items you set off. Um, and essentially, they just do some big explosion. I don't know why I can't set them. I don't know if there's too many people on the channel or if it'll cause lag or, or what. But um, usually, fireworks are just an item you set off for a little explosion, a little effect. Uh, it's mostly just for like fashion scape and for like fun. Um, it's not like a very helpful, very pragmatic item, but it's fun, you know. So there's also these new things called XP candies. Now, if I'm being totally honest, they don't seem that good. Uh, like this one, look how cheap they are. Wow. Like these, these have tanked. So XP candy extra small increases experience by 500. 500 experience is nothing. It's it's absolutely nothing. Like even at lower levels, 500 XP is just like so so nothing. Um, like, my Shuckle is level 38, and it needs 4,000 XP to get to the next level. Like, you'd need, what is that, 8 of these or whatever? Dude, it's terrible. They're just so bad. Breloom, you know, one of the slowest Pokemon to level in the entire game. Like, it's, it's yeah, it's, they're just, they don't seem good. Um, even the, like, large ones. So, let's go. Uh, extra small gives 500 XP. What's small? Small gives 1250. A little better, but still, I really don't think it's worth the price. Uh, medium gives 3,000 large gives 10,000 like I could see large maybe being worth it at certain levels or at certain points but I just feel like so often it's just gonna be better to like just not use them like they're just so it's like you could just do one horde battle I feel like it's just not worth it um there's a ton of different uh variations of medicines vitamins like it says full heal swift wing resist carbos all sorts of vitamins in the like now let's cover the psychic training helmet apparently actually has been seen and has been found in the uh, in the normal anniversary, which is kind of surprising to me. It's honestly kind of surprising to me that you can get this in the normal anniversary. I thought this would be golden chest specific, but no, you actually can get this very ultra rare vanity, as it says, ultra rare event item in the normal anniversary chest. Very cool, very cool vanity. It's just incredible vanity. Uh, super excited to, uh, to see that one pop off later on, maybe. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the golden anniversary chest now. So let's look at this. Richest Charms plus 100. We already covered all this, so we're not, we're not really going to... I guess I can show you guys the prices of them. Uh, Richest Charm, 100% plus 100. Okay, so the cheapest Richest Charms, 100% is around 58k. So if you get uh, one of these, it'll actually pay for the crate, since golden anniversary chests right now are around 52k. Uh, I think anniversary chests are still around 20k, so yeah, around 20k for normal anniversary chests and around 52k for the golden. Uh, let's cover XP charm 
plus 100. Just show you guys the prices, I guess. I mistyped it. It's always so hard to type when you're recording a video for whatever reason. It's 100 going for around 30k, so you're gonna lose some profit there, lose some money there. Battle points, charm. It is annoying to, to, to see the 100. You have to type out the full thing. Uh, so there's a couple of these underlisted. I honestly could go ahead and just flip these really quick, but I don't see these selling really quickly as the issue. These probably don't sell quite well. Uh, battle points, charms, 100% um, for 15k. It's kind of whatever of an item, not very important. Item magnet charm. I think the battle points charm might be the, I don't know, it's tough to tell. It's tough to tell what is the like weakest charm of them all. It's probably either battle points or item magnet, but it's a tough call. Uh, richest charm is the best. I mean, I suggest shiny charm is the best. Or richest, richest charm is probably the best. Richest charm is the best. Shiny charm, second best. Uh, XP charm, third best, I guess. Kind of goes on from there. So let's cover the, uh, you know, the trainer's jacket we just covered. Foxtail we covered. Pokemon cap. Very similar stuff in the golden anniversary you know chest but probably at higher rates i assume uh for all the vanities and everything it's really really hard to get data and information on the rates because no one's opening that amount of crates and no one should be opening that amount of crates by the way guys don't open crates just sell them it's a lot better uh sell them now or buy them up at the end of the event and stock up and uh try to make some long-term profit on investments so as we can see, this one also has the fishing cap, the Koban, we've covered all of this, the bug enthusiast outfit, the tamer outfit, the Koban, the bug catchers outfit, we've covered all, so they actually have the outfit on there twice, the bug catchers and bug enthusiast outfit are the same thing. Three anniversary cake particle effect, so that's something that we actually haven't seen, so let's go ahead and cover that. That's something we actually haven't seen, these aren't available in the normal anniversary chest from what this forum post is saying. Obviously, this is just, this is the information we have so far, so this could be slightly inaccurate. If you've gotten anything that aren't on this list, let the person know in the comments on this forum post, which will be linked in the description. So, anniversary particle effects are going for around 65K a piece. If you're getting three of them, 65k a piece that is a really good opening that is definitely some pretty good luck uh, and then going on the fishing cap we've covered the fishing outfit the tamer outfit hyper vitamins we've covered for the most part xp candies who cares uh, and then giga drain sludge bomb flamethrower muddy water hurricane ice beam tm is pretty good carbos healing items bean revives full restores match potions and the shiny canto friends particle effect now that's an important one uh this is a really really cool particle effect uh Wow, I didn't realize the cheapest one right now is 1.7 mil. So they were actually 1.2 mil, I want to say, yesterday. Uh, wow, really cool particle effect. Uh, really interesting to see it so expensive. I think this is probably one of the pieces of content in this event that I've looked the least into and probably paid the least attention to. It's really hard when an update slash event is so big, you're just not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to do everything. You're not going to be able to do everything. You're not going to be able to invest in everything. You just got to try your best uh, and get to everything you can get to. So... Uh, probably an underrated underrated item from this event from my perspective now you can also get the psychic training helmet of course and i think that covers everything so if you want to go say thank you to imperial i'll link the forum post down below if you want to give him any uh, feedback or information obviously you can go ahead and let him know if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you please do make sure to like the video physically and subscribe for daily pokemon content i upload two pieces of pokemon content every single day i also recommend joining the discord right now links down below it's a fantastic time to join the discord because people are constantly making calls for the gym leader rotations for the 10-year anniversary event in my Discord. And I think it's a much cleaner format and much cleaner way of getting those calls as opposed to uh, global chat. Uh, also, if you do want to go above and beyond and support the channel, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for 5 bucks a month, dropping a Twitch Prime or a Twitch sub over on my Twitch, or heading up my Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo, links down below. Anyone who does go above and beyond literally allows me to keep making Pokemon content every day. So thank you all so much for your time. Hopefully, you're having some fun with the with the event. I think this event's been a blast. I think it's been a massive success, and I think you can tell that by the way the servers have been so full. But let me know your guys' feedback in the, in the comments down below. Have you guys liked the event? Have you disliked it? Like, what's your favorite part? of the event what's your least favorite part be you know be polite be constructive uh feel free to criticize but just do it in a nice way but that's it for me i'll see you guys later peace